What's up guys, Anders here with another video. Today we're going to talk about the Warrior class rework on test server. This will be a quick one and will serve more as a preview since we will see changes in the future to these actual reworks. I'll have a Ranger rework video out on the channel if you're interested in what is happening with Ranger and other class videos will come as they release them on test server over time. Now for this video, we'll look at Succession and Awakening Warrior. I'm going to give you the gist of what you can expect from the first week of changes. Now remember, these are the first First sweep of changes and nothing is final till all classes receive their rework so if something is seemingly under tuned or over tuned we may see some changes in the future before they go live now I'll start with pre-awakened skills and changes to succession warrior and give you my impressions of the changes so war cry a mostly unused skill in pre-awakening that used to give a DP debuff now gives a party DP buff of 20 DP for 20 seconds a good utility change to that skill they lowered the cooldown of succession grab take down by two seconds down to 11 seconds now which is good for smaller scale fights shield strike now has a kd or knockdown instead of a stun but they took away the full frontal guard protection on the last hit and as a result you get an extra kd to use but you lose that protection in duels this shouldn't matter too much but will affect smaller scale a bit if you were trying to catch people with the quick stun now knockdown of that skill now earth tremor now has a different animation which looks amazing and you can combo it with frenzy dash for a nice mobility skill in pve frenzy dash now has a new animation with a floating cc on hit but is unprotected for pvp using the dash would honestly make you a little bit vulnerable since it's unprotected so i wouldn't advise it though you can quickly cancel the skill with earth tremor to minimize that vulnerable state you're in and kind of launch yourself both ground smash and earth tremor now also have increased aoe charging thrust no longer does that kick on contact which was very annoying and remains frontal guard while in movement that's a very good change counter now has a faster quick spin counter and charge counter now is faster as well so that's all good spinning slash has their flow tree completely cut down to just jump slash flow and had several animation changes and is a lot faster coming out heavy strike now deals less damage on cooldown which is an unfortunate change if you grinded semi afk and warrior succession piercing spear can now be cast faster with no need to cancel animation like before from repeated use of the hotkey a lot of the pre-awakened skill tree flows have been removed moved and incorporated into the skills themselves saving you a lot of skill points in some cases so that's a really good change reduce the skill bloat for newer players overall it seems succession warrior has received some pve damage an extra knockdown cc and lower cd on succession grab as the main changes now awakening warrior on the other hand can still cancel skills just fine with q block has gained increased range on a lot of his skills increased aoe better flow inputs accuracy buff evasion shred and fixes to sa gaps on skills Skills. Add more damage to that list of positives and we now have a clear favorite of the two specs. Awakening is absolutely insane right now. Armor break is faster. Hilt strike has a 12% accuracy buff but can no longer be hotkeyed. Heaven's cleave now flows from balance strike and hilt strike. Solar flare has increased movement distance and 12% evasion debuff. Reckless blow now has one added hit on the base skill with the charge version now giving you an attack speed plus 10% for 10 seconds. Slashing the dead has increased AOE remove that SA gap on his overall smoother and better animation. Grave Digging has increased AoE as well and better animation as well. Remember, Awakening Warrior also has advantage of the pre-awakened skill change. So if you take a look at the changes overall to Awakening Warrior, you come out thinking, eh, you know what, the devs don't seem to like evasion builds very much because this accuracy buff plus the evasion shred on skills are absolutely crippling to anyone running evasion. You now have a class with good protection, good mobility, good AoE, good damage range, a grab, slows, SA block, and a wide array of CC and debuff abilities. Warrior Awakening has come out incredibly strong from this rework. Now, Succession sadly has received a short end of the stick, I'd say, but, you know, still some improvements to this kit. I'm personally disappointed that they didn't move away from the grab style primary engage of Succession, which leads me to believe that we should not expect drastic playstyle changes to classes with these reworks. Just from Warrior, we can see Awakening was obviously heavily favored in the change Changes, while Succession receives some tweaks but mostly left similar to what you have right now on live. The upside is that at the very least you are looking at something at the level of Succession Warrior level of changes so minor tweaks here and there and at the very best so far we have Awakening Warrior level of changes. For me personally the Awakening Warrior changes are all good. They look amazing. The Succession ones are a bit disappointing for me. I wanted a little bit more especially seeing what Awakening Warrior got. Let me know what you guys think about these Warrior changes in the comments and that's pretty much it for 
for this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comments or over on our community Discord. We're not public and accepting new members, so follow that link, react to the comments to get your member role, and say hello. If you want to support the videos I make in small donations, you can follow the Kofi link below and buy me a cup of coffee. I love coffee as much as I love Bell, so every coffee you buy me will be greatly appreciated and will, of course, come with some Discord perks. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Remember, Bell is good. As always, guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.